at issue here is labor fees. Should they be required of all public employees or a choice? Well, that issue was debated between Supreme Court justices yesterday as they heard oral arguments and teachers here in the state say education is on the line. It's a Supreme Court hearing that could have a profound effect on labor movements here in Chicago and in the state of Illinois. Janice's case could affect um, our ability to fight for our students with our voices. State educators and their labor groups sharply contesting the Bruce Rauner backed lawsuit. They say it cripples public union labor fees, a major source of income directly affecting teachers unions. People don't say how high when he says jump. Instead, they use their voice and unions use their collective voice to do what's right for their members as and in our case for our students. It's a legal challenge to a long standing precedent. As it stands, all teachers have to pay a fair share fee whether they join the union as a full member or not. Rahner says eliminating that fee allows for freedom of choice, but some teachers say it could hurt the political power of the unions in 22 states by cutting their income and their ranks. It could attempt to break up our voice. It could, have, it's, it could have take away our ability to do great things for kids, to, to work for smaller class sizes, to work for supplies in the classroom, the technology that our students so desperately need. And some teachers say the biggest impact will be on your kids. There are resources that are provided to the children at school that the unions are behind 100%. And if those get taken away, then the children will be affected. Around the country, 70% of teachers are involved in a union. Marches around the country have been organized to fight back, but many are bracing for a defeat, as new Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch is expected to swing the court, arguing the First Amendment lets public sector workers opt out of union fees. It's focused on public employees. And as a public education employee, the um, impact of this case will impact us. Now, Governor Bruce Rauner was in D.C. yesterday for oral arguments. He says he's proud of this case and actually very confident that things will go out in his favor when it comes to, uh, he calling it a win for free speech. Now, the court was split on this. I'm going to detail for you how oral arguments actually went coming up in the next half hour. For now, I'm live from The Loop. Brandon Pope, The Jam.